if you would like to watch Joker 2, probably don't watch Joker 1 because that's that's my experience. I watched Joker 2 without watching Joker 1 and I liked it. And I guess that's a common theme. Can we now immediately jump into your mega L takes? Peppa, do you have bad opinions? Apparently. I think I have good opinions. That's just your I opinion. I think that I'm, I'm an enlightened individual. Did you watch Joker 2 yet? No, I didn't watch it because someone wrote a bunch of spoilers that I thought were really funny and I said nah. Did you watch Joker 1? Yeah, that movie slapped. Okay, I haven't seen Joker 1, but I good. did watch Joker 2. Oh. And I really like Joker 2. You what? I do. I think it's a genuinely good movie. And I think 10 years from now, people are going to be like, yeah, it was actually a really good movie. You divorced are from the context at the time. Kid. Band kid. You put the cello I was the Emmy band. Woodwind. Exactly. No. Well, yeah, I did like, play a Woodwind. You're like, you're like Cuts. I'm a kitty cut. And I dance, dance, dance. I, I, dance, dance, I don't dance. think that's what they say. I think oh, that's okay, a YouTube bad, video. Bad. They're like, they're like, Alexander Hamilton. And then everyone creamed. That People was did you. do that. That was, that was a good, that, that was, was a good musical. That musical sucked. It was good. It was, it was very interesting. I it was a beautiful portrayal of the American Alexander dream Hamilton. and what America stands for. America stands for guns and no education and expansive healthcare. And if you're going to say we're standing here for the and yell bailing musical garbage, you're out of your goddamn you understand? America stands for freedom. Thing. You Anyways, can't, you Joker can't walk 2, into, you should watch you can't Joker walk 2. You into an airport and say, I have a Joker bomb. Two. You understand? No, yeah, well, you, no, yeah, obviously you cannot do that. You can't do that on Twitch either. Chat, I have a bomb! If she likes Joker 2, she can't be right about everything. But I still, you know, I value her thoughts. But I was right about Joker too. You really? Mm, okay. In 10 years, in 10 years, people are going to be like, you know what? Actually, yeah, it was good. And yeah, it was kind of sad that the director had like a little, he had a cuck baby rage about like, oh no, incels like my movie or whatever. Now I need to make a movie to spite them. But it was still a beautiful portrayal of how society attaches labels to people and people feel the need to attach labels to themselves. And they feel like the, those labels are what defines them instead of their actual humanity they feel they feel the need to conform to the identities that are presented to them and in flex case it's the the role of the joker and when he decides he no longer is the joker when he never has been this this idea that other people should rally hey, behind hey, rather hey, he is just hey, a person Pippa, people hey, cast him Pippa, aside people don't Pippa, want him anymore hey, Pippa, and it really does Pippa, say a lot about society hey, it's really sad Pippa, it's really upsetting hey, it's a very, Pippa? very upsetting hey, movie. I really liked it. Pippa? Hey, Pippa. Yeah? English or Spanish? Spanish. Si tu moveas, entonces eres gay. No habla. You should watch yeah. the Joker. Yeah. You're gay! <laughs> Optimizing, you don't lie you were watching that one scene from the Joker 2 on loop because it was Kino Cinema. Which scene? Which scene? I think, I think unironically my favorite scene from Joker 2 is, I think I know which scene you're talking about. And it's after that scene, I think, if I remember correctly. And he's laying in bed and you see the, you, you see the humanity in Arthur Fleck as he lays there in bed, humiliated, traumatized, broken down by the world. You hear, you hear, you hear the guy who had become like his lackey, that Arthur would, he, he's like a, he's like a, he's like another Joker. He's like another Arthur Fleck. God, I could go, I could go into so much, I could, I could tangent so much, I could tangent so much about the movie, but you, the guy, the guy that he shows some quote unquote like affection towards at the beginning of the movie, you can hear him being strangled to death and, and you just see Arthur Fleck coming to terms with, or maybe not coming to terms with, but really, really experiencing the, the gravity of his situation of everything that he's done and everything that others have done to him. Joker 1 was better? Probably. I haven't seen it though. I know, I know. I think I can like both movies. I think that's, I think that's an okay thing to do. I just haven't seen the first one yet. Pretty Marco, thank you. What do you rate Joker 2? I, I rated it a 9.3 out of 10. I really liked it. I really liked it. I don't know Joker 1. I assume that I'll probably like it because I liked number 2 and if number 1 is better. 1 is mostly the world breaking down the Joker. That's the same thing with number 2. Number 2 is also the world breaking down. Maybe maybe number 1 is the world breaking down Joker and number 2 is the world breaking down Arthur Fleck. Wow, so deep. I really like Joker 2. I'm not like, no, Joker 2 is infallible. And it's like the greatest fucking piece of cinema of all time. And there's no way that the director could have been annoying or could have ripped off anybody else's shit or whatever the fuck, you know? It's like, I just like the movie. I think it's a really good movie.
Everybody, everybody, make sure to sub like, comment, and subscribe to low low effort clips. That's right, low effort clips right here on YouTube.com. Yeah, and hit the notification bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>